Are you ready? I am red E. Red E. Much to yours and my excitement, Daisy is back. We're back. We're back and better than ever. <laughs> We're pretty excited because Sierra reached out to me a couple months ago and was like, hey, do you want to make a Taylor Swift collab together? And I was like, I've never wanted anything more in my entire <laughs> life. This is really just our wheelhouse. I can't believe we haven't actually done anything like this before. I know, we we counted, we've all together, we've done like 14 videos together and this is the first time Taylor Swift is coming up. So we're really happy about it. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a really iconic recreation of Taylor Swift red era outfits because we are celebrating the fact that red Taylor's version is coming out as we speak in a couple days. What better way to celebrate than just playing dress up? That's literally all we wanted to do for these videos is just play dress up and bring you along for the ride. So over on Sierra's channel, we are going to be recreating all of Taylor Swift's eras minus red, which we're gonna be doing here. So if you're here for the red outfits and the red content, we've got you covered, but make sure you check out her channel. The video will be linked down below. It was the most fun we've ever had filming a video. So much fun. I'm almost losing my voice from all the scream singing. <laughs> yeah. We woke up this morning, we're like, can you talk? Yeah. No, not really. And you call me up again just to break me like a promise. So good. So honestly, we just decided to put together some of Taylor's most iconic red era outfits, things that are current, things that are from the past, and we're gonna bring you along on the journey. So let's jump in. So for the first look, I decided I wanted to tip my hat to Taylor's version. We couldn't kick this off without showing some love to Taylor's version. So I decided to recreate the look that Taylor did when she was announcing Taylor's version. So sort of like her new album cover, I would assume, or at least what she put out when she was announcing Taylor's version. I love this look so much. I feel like it's so current, it's so her, it's so British, which we know I love. It's also so fall. Like yeah. it's very autumnal. Of course. She called it our autumnal heartbreak album, yes. which like I just cannot wait. So that's what I decided to do for my look and then for Sierra's look. I decided to do the photo that Taylor posted on her Instagram when she announced the track list for Taylor's version. So and I'm pretty sure this photo was originally from one of her tour looks. Yeah, I think it was from the Red Tour. Yeah. What I wouldn't give to scream sing along to any song on Red while Taylor is performing. And but we will especially all too well, well the 10 minute version of Taylor's, Taylor's version, version from, from the, the vault. vault. <laughs> and someday we will. We will. Someday we, we will. We really will. So enough about that. We could talk about it all day. Let's jump into the outfits and see what they look like. All right. So here we have our first looks. This is how they turned out. This is the most exciting day of my life, by the way. So for my Taylor's version look, I decided to try and recreate it the best I could, but while still maintaining my own style. So this hat is actually from Amazon of all places. I searched so many different retailers. I actually found the one who made her hat that she wore, but of course it's sold out for like a million years. So I love this one. I love the color. I think it's just so cute. And I actually would wear this like repeatedly in my daily life. So it's I'm really- It's so cute. Thank you. I absolutely <laughs> love it. And then this coat is actually from Poshmark. We love a thrifted score. It was really affordable. I believe it's from like Saks Fifth Avenue, I wanna say, but I feel like it's like the perfect blend of a trench coat that like Taylor would wear and something that I would wear in like my desert climate. And then this sweater vest is like kind of a sweater vest dress and like, not gonna lie, it is a little short. I would probably need some like pants or shorts or something underneath it, but we're just going with it. We're just playing dress up for fun. So this is, I wanna say thrifted as well. I got it a few months ago, I love it. And then these tights are from Target, shout out to Target, by the way, because as we all know, finding plus size friendly tights is like actually a feat. Yeah. And Target has such a cute selection. So kind of wanted to go with like a little plaid moment. Um, forgive the little runs in the tights. <laughs> Um, Sierra's dog, Bella, got really excited to Bella see Bella was night. very excited <laughs> that very Carrie excited. was here. And then my little shoes are my, I think they're from Nasty Gal. I got them a couple years ago and I've worn them with like every look. Like they're super versatile. I can wear them with like grungy looks, dressy looks, and they're just super comfortable to walk around in. We were like prancing around the forest. I mean, it was a park next to the ocean, but like <laughs> but it's, it's the forest it's for us. Forest. And it was honestly perfect. So I love this look, 10 out of 10, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna say 11 out of 10. Thank just you. Just to one up you, cause it's Thank so dang you. cute. And your look is 
Amazing. Thank you. So cute. Okay, so for mine, I, I did not have any shirts similar to the one in Taylor's photo. So I went on a little internet hunt and we found this shirt actually on Etsy that was handmade. I love it so much. And I feel like it's so similar to Taylor's with the collar, mm -hmm. even though this isn't like lacy, it's, I feel like a similar vibe. Totally. I was super thrilled that it fit. It, it pulls a little bit on the buttons, but like, you know what? It, we're rolling with it. We were thrashing um to the bridge of all too well yesterday and you did lose a, a button. A yeah. button popped off. <laughs> yeah. Those kind of things happen when it's, you're jamming out to all too well. Oh yeah. All bets are off yeah. when all too well comes oh, on. Yeah. Like you could flip your car, you could do it. Really anything. Uh, pass out. Your soul transcends out of your body. That's <laughs> What happens to me when I sing the bridge of all too well? Absolutely. <laughs> and then Taylor actually was wearing leather shorts in her photo, but I had this leather skirt from Eloquy that I feel like is pretty similar in the vibe so of it. Bomb. It's a faux leather skirt, by the way. I feel really confident in this skirt, so I was like, let's just go. I feel good in this one. Yeah, is it comfy too? It's super it comfy. It's really comfortable. The only thing is it, it's buttons here, mm. and so a little, again, thrashing to all too well, <laughs> you could easily pop a button yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look super cute and <laughs> I love you. the way it looks. Thank you. And then I also did little black booties similar to Carrie's in that like these are just my go-to boots for like, most outfits. Mm -hmm. Oh, the lips. We my God, we lips. totally forgot. <laughs> so the lipstick is Taylor's, apparently one of her top 10, I believe. Yeah, according to Vogue.com. <laughs> Vogue.com, like we're coming for you if this isn't accurate, but she, apparently she made a list of her top 10 favorite lipsticks and one of them was NARS Dragon Girl. So we did purchase it. We love it, yeah, by the way. It's actually great. It's absolutely incredible. It's kind of like the consistency of a liquid lipstick. So like not even sponsored in any way, but like truly. It's great. <laughs> would recommend, we'll link down below. So yeah, just super happy with this look. So let's jump into the next one. I could not obviously let this video go without addressing the scarf. The, the scarf. scarf. From that very first week, really. It, yeah. Because it reminds, reminds you of innocence, innocence and, and it smells, smells like me. me. So I decided to do a recreation of the iconic paparazzi photo of some clown, we don't know his name, and Taylor Swift sharing a maple latte in New York City. I loved this outfit then. I really, really wanted to recreate this look because it's just a nod to All Too Well, isn't it? Especially because we're getting the 10 minute version, which I will not speak about because I will start crying. My entire body is covered in chills as we speak. And then for mine, I just wanted to do an homage to the album cover. It is, I, we keep using the word iconic, but it is iconic. What, like take a shot every time we say iconic because we're not gonna stop. Or every time that we quote Taylor <laughs> Swift lyrics at each other, you will be drunk. I am excited about this look, this album. Up until Lover came out, it was my favorite album. Now it's my second favorite. So that cover, the amount of times that I saw that like on my phone or on my iPod or on my computer, like playing that album. Mm -hmm. over and over and over. It's forever just ingrained into my mind. Yeah, and honestly, I think that was the first time I bought one of those like wide brim black hats, like was because of that album cover. I was like, oh, that's cute. I wanna wear that. And now I've worn it for the last 10 years because of it, you know? The hold that her style during the red era had on me as a high schooler was too, too much. <laughs> it was too, too much. much. You're welcome in advance. Here we go, let's jump in. All right, so we have stepped out of a time machine and we are back in 2012. Hi, welcome. Hello. Um, skinny jeans are in. So here is the scarf in action. And this is actually from, well, here's the thing. Taylor Swift's scarf was from Gucci, which no, first, it just immediately no. <laughs> immediately no. But also it doesn't, it's not even made anymore. So I decided to do some searching and I found a dupe from Banana Republic from like several years ago. And somebody listed it on Poshmark for like $6.00. Thank you, whoever you are. It's I owe my life perfect. to you. I love it so, so much. This scarf is like the iconic scarf in the All Too Well song. There are literally people who make Etsy shops that have sweatshirts that they sell that say, where's the scarf? <laughs> like it's become such an iconic part of the fandom that I felt like I had to include it in this video because it's literally just one of the like top tier Taylor Swift moments. And honestly, All Too Well is both of our favorite songs like ever she ever wrote maybe even of all time yeah i think it's her best song ever i think one of the best songs just in general ever. agreed like agreed. perfect beautiful immaculate 
cannot wait for the 10 minute version. <laughs> the fact that we are now getting like a new 10 minute version of this song and like hearing parts of the story that we haven't heard yet is just incredible. So I had to commemorate it with this scarf. It's perfect, Thank it's you. iconic. And then this coat is like a, I think London fog coat, but again, secondhand, I think I got it on thread up. And I just love this kind of like nautical theme. It feels like I'm walking with a maple latte in my hand with my actor boyfriend in New York City. Some of the photos Taylor was wearing a gray beanie. So I decided to just throw this one on that I already had. I'm super into it. I love it so, so much. It just makes me feel like I'm, well, Sierra's age again. <laughs> okay, when this album came out in this paparazzi photo, mm -hmm. I was like 14 or 15. Yeah, I was like 24. <laughs> <laughs> like this does not this have the new. same significance to mm -hmm. me because when you're 14, you're not looking at paparazzi right, photos exactly. and being, like I didn't even know who Taylor Swift was dating. I just loved her music, like it related to me. I don't have the same connection to right, that. Right, exactly. And so I feel like now you're like educating it's me. It's like you're learning. You're yeah. Like learning as the new album is coming out, you're like relearning the history. The history. Of like what was behind it, which I totally understand. I feel the that way. Swift story. That was so Watch bad. Watch out. And then my jeans are a pair of skinny jeans. Do you hear that Gen Z? We used to wear these all the time. This is just a pair from Old Navy. I did have to search on thread up. And then these shoes are like a cute little champagne pair of Oxfords. They're secondhand. I feel like they just go really well and complete the look. And we actually both have Oxfords for yes. our looks, which is perfect. Uh, we're putting them back on the map. I'm saying it right now. I feel like these shoes were just so 2010, 2012. Yes. Like very Zoe Deschanel. Yes. Like just that kind of, that style had like a hold on the early 2010s. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It is all by the throat. Yeah. So here's the thing with my look. On one hand, I love it because it is so similar to like that photo shoot for the red album cover. But on the other hand, it kind of reminds me of what I wore when I would be like an usher for theater. <laughs> like, here, ma'am, let me show you to your seat. 2A. <laughs> it feels very like me when I worked at a theater backstage, like trying on the different like hats and props and stuff. <laughs> but it also is super red. Like but that right. is exactly what she wore. Right. Yeah. And so I'm I'm like torn on it. We have the hat and then the like white dress shirt with the black piping. I found this on JCPenney for like $8. It's dead on too. Like and it's a dead ringer. Yeah. And I was thrilled yeah, when so. I found it. And then it's collared too, just, Ugh, just like hers. It's so. so perfect, I love it. And then I just have black denim shorts and then the little Oxfords, that's the look. Fuck you! <laughs> so for the next look, we decided to recreate some music video looks and I decided to go with the 22 music video. I was obsessed with the shirt that she wore that said not a lot going on at the moment. And I just loved this look so much in the music video that it honestly like is something that I would wear in my everyday life now. And then for Sierra's look, I did one of her outfits from the We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together music video. When this song came out as one of the lead singles, I remember it so well. I was at a sleepover, I was oh. in high school, and the song came out and I had downloaded it and I fell asleep at the sleepover with my iPod right here oh. at my ear so I could just listen to it over and over <laughs> again. And my friends were like, does anyone like hear something in the back? It was me and listening. It's like, I remember when, when we broke up the first time. So I really, really love the way these outfits turned out. It was so fun that we decided to do like a music video reiteration as well. So let's jump into those and see what they look like. I am absolutely obsessed with your look. I was going to say I'm obsessed with I yours. I think this might be my favorite. I love the heart shaped glasses with the hat, of course the shirt, because I feel like people love to hate on 2010 fashion. But we look cute. We look really cute. And we were just saying before we even started rolling, like, let's bring this back. Yeah. Like, why did this ever go away? So let it be known here first. We're bringing back 2010's fashion. It's going to happen. So for my look, I'm going to call this, um, I don't know about you, I'm feeling 32. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe that I'm going it. for, thanks. Up top, we have this black hat that I've had forever. It is actually a hat from the men's section because my noggin is very large. And then for the glasses, these were like an exact dupe on Amazon and they're just so cute. I feel like they complete the look so much. You may recognize this sweatshirt from a recent video where I did like some thrift flip DIYs on my Cricut. So I actually made this. You made that on your I Cricut? I literally made I it. I was gonna assume you bought it on Etsy. Nope, I actually made this. I I'm love quite it. proud. It was my first project I ever made and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So it's not a t-shirt, but I feel like it's more me. I'm in a crew neck pretty much every day of my life. And then in 
instead of wearing like a kind of cutesy high-waisted pair of shorts I decided to just go with bike shorts because that's what I'm comfortable with and I feel like you definitely still get the vibe overall this could totally be a Halloween costume as well I know we're past Halloween but honestly like if you wanted to have like an album release party with your friends and like everyone do a different red look this would be really cute to recreate I just love it and then for my boots I'm wearing the same boots I wore before my like go-to combat boots I just love them so much I just everything about this on you with your hair and yeah. the red lips like I just I love it Thank it's so you. perfect I'm like I think this is my favorite one of all oh I also forgot to mention that I did purchase this red necklace from Etsy I'll leave the shop owner in the information link down below but it's just like I had to do it to commemorate this time it's my favorite album it's my favorite era so here we are. So tell us about your look because I need all the deets. It's literally, I think my favorite look on you ever. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Okay. See, when I first put this on, I was like, I don't know if I'm not, if I'm feeling it, if I'm not, like the shirt feels a little bit like clowny, mm. but then mm -hmm. you hyped me up and now I believe it. Now I was, I'm like, I look great. Oh, you put it on <laughs> and I was like, whoa, holy moly, we're bringing back this style that is so, so good on you. And that is the power of having friends who hype you up. <laughs> so this shirt is from Unique Vintage, Ooh. which I feel like every experience I've had with them has been really great. They're really size inclusive. If you like like more kind of throwback style, 50s, 60s, 70s looks, they have a lot. And then these are the same shorts from the last look. I think I forgot to say where they're from. Mm. They're uh, Old Navy. Oh, nice. From. And then the same Oxfords. Oh, so, so cute. Oh, and then hair and a ponytail with a red scrunchie to uh, complete the we are never ever getting back together look. I'm just so happy with how these looks turned out. Make sure you check out the description box below. I'll link everything that we can link possible, but this just turned out amazing and I'm just like having the best day playing dress up. I highly, <gasps> highly recommend The it. best day? With you. Today. today. <laughs> So I hope you all enjoyed this video and seeing us back together again. It's honestly been the best time. We've had so much fun. Let us know if you want to see this again for maybe like 1989 or something. Seriously. You know, we have a few more to go. Oh, I will take any excuse to do this again. Absolutely. Hang out with you, <laughs> drink some wine, talk about Taylor Swift, Wear our matching sweatshirts. All I've ever wanted, to be <laughs> honest. Make sure you go over to Sierra's channel and check out the video that she did. It is absolutely incredible. You will love it so, so much. We put so much thought and effort and work into this and she is the queen. Like you will absolutely love it. So check it out. It's in the description box below. We also vlog together this entire trip. So check out our vlog channels. Thank you so much for being here, for stopping along on your journey on the internet today. It means so, so much to me and I know to Sierra as well. Yeah, thank Thanks for indulging us yes. in just obsessing over Taylor Swift. <laughs> Thank you for letting us do this for our job. It means more than you will ever know. We both love you so much and we will see you very soon. Bye. Audio rolling. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm sweating already. <laughs> Sorry. She's drinking water. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna hear I know I'm sweating so bad. <laughs> I really went down the wrong pipe. It's the all too well 10 minute version. It's hitting me. It's hitting me. This would be like such a cute thumbnail. Too. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I cannot believe I was not selected for the ref room. I was. They were probably worried about what would happen to you if you got in there. there. <laughs> we are doing a video where we re. where we re recreate. No, I don't think you understand. <laughs> I'm obsessed.